Hey, our friends, you're going to be drawing a Valentine's dragon. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, and we're using our Art for Kids Hub markers to color with at the end. So remember, you can also use marker paper to keep the markers lasting longer. Yes. All right, you ready to start? Yep. Let's first draw our dragon's nose. We're gonna draw two nostrils right in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw them right about here. We're gonna draw two little, two little nostrils. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the mouth right below the nostrils. We're gonna start here and I'm gonna draw my dragon happy, but I'm also gonna draw a little point at the end. So it looks like the letter V. Oh, that looks like a face yeah. with two eyes, really small eyes. <laughs> Good job. Now let's draw the teeth. I'm gonna draw two sharp teeth on each side. And then we can draw our dragon's mouth open. I'm gonna draw another smaller V that comes down to a point and then back up on the other side. Then let's draw a tongue inside of the mouth and let's color in the top shape. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video if we ever go too fast and you need extra time. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle over here on the left and the same size circle over here on the right. Now let's draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. And also, I think maybe because the eyes are so big, I'm gonna draw another smaller circle right next to it. Then let's color in the big circle, but leave the two little circles white. This white part is the highlight. It makes the eyes look a lot shinier. Okay, now let's draw the shape of our dragon's head. I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna draw a curve that comes down, across, and then back up on the right side. <laughs> My dragon's head is huge. <laughs> I was planning to draw it a little smaller, but that's okay. <laughs> and it's also a little off to the left, but that's all right. We're practicing, right? Yep. Okay, now let's draw the top of our dragon's head. I'm gonna come up pretty high and then back down on the other side. Nice, now let's draw the horns. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out and up. And I'm gonna repeat that same curve over here for the other side so that it's symmetrical. And that's okay if they're a little different. Okay, now let's start at the top. We're gonna to make our horns a little bit thicker. We're gonna get further away and then connect into the head and the same thing on this side. Then we can also add texture lines on the horns. I'm going to draw little curves coming up to the end and then the same thing over here on the right side. Let's also draw ears on our dragon. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out like this and then right at the end I'm going to curve the other direction. And then we'll start at the end and then curve back into the head. Let's repeat that same shape over here for the other ear. Curve one direction, and then right at the end, curve back up. Start at the end, and curve into the cheek. Let's also draw the inside of our dragon ear. I'm gonna start here at the end, and then get further away towards the bottom, and then curve into the cheek. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll start at the end, and then curve and get further away, and then right at the end, curve into the cheek. Let's also add horns going down the middle of our dragon. I'm gonna draw an upside down V right here above the nose, and then we can draw a curve to connect the bottom. Let's draw another one right above it, but a little bit bigger or wider, and then we'll curve the bottom. And then one more right on top of the head to finish our little dragon's head. Looks <laughs> awesome. Oh, let's add another little curve right above the nostrils. 
We did it. We finished our little dragon head. Now let's draw the body and also let's draw a heart that our dragon is hanging on to. So first let's start right in the middle and we're going to come down a little ways and add a guide point. Then we'll come down a little further and add another guide point right below it. This is for our heart. We're going to start here and draw a curve that comes out of that guide point, curve around and then straight into the bottom guide point. So you draw a curve and then when you get to here, straight in. Then let's try to repeat that same exact curve on the other side. We'll come up to the same height, curve around and then straight into the guide point. Now let's draw our dragon hanging onto the heart. First I'm going to draw a sideways W for the talons on each side. Then we're going to start at the bottom of that W, come out and then bend into the dragon's head. This is a little elbow at the end and we can repeat that same curve over here for the other arm. Then let's draw a little curve connecting to the top of the W or the talons for the other side of the arm. Oh, and then we can also draw a little belly for our dragon. I'm going to draw two lines coming in. And then let's draw the texture lines going across the dragon's belly. <laughs> now let's draw our dragon's feet and we're going to draw our dragon sitting down. So let's draw the bottom of the feet. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out around and then connects into the heart. And we'll do that same shape and curve over here for the other foot. Next, let's draw an oval for the bottom, very bottom of the foot. And I'm drawing it on both sides. And then let's draw the letter M or an upside down W for the talons on the feet. <laughs> Next, let's draw our dragon's tail. I'm going to draw it curving out from the foot and down. And then let's start at the end and we'll curve back up higher into the dragon's arm. Let's add another curve inside for a detail on the bottom of the tail. And just like the belly, let's add lines going across. Oh, and we can also add little spikes. I'm going to draw zigzag lines coming down the tail until we get to the very end. And I got a little smaller towards the end. Cool. Okay, now let's add wings to our dragon. Let's draw a curve that comes out from the arm and then right at the end, we're going to curve up and we can do that same thing. I'm kind of just following the shape of the head. And then we can draw a curve down for the rest of the wing on each side. Then we'll start at the end of the wing and we're going to draw a point, but a little further away towards the middle of the wing. And then we'll come down also into the arm. So it gets a little thicker. These look like bat wings. Then we're going to start here and do the same thing up to the middle and then back down to the arm. Then let's draw upside down U's that are connected for the actual wing inside of the first part that we drew. Then we could also add a little talon on the end or a claw, just like how bats have little claws at the end. Now the last thing we could add for our dragon is something that it's sitting on. Let's draw, because it flies, let's draw our dragon sitting on a cloud. So I'm going to start way over here and I'm going to draw a bumpy popcorn line that comes all the way underneath the dragon around like this. And then I'm going to connect into the foot. Let's also add a funny face to our heart or just a cute face. I'm going to draw two upside down U's. <laughs> we could also add little eyelashes if we want to on each side of the eyes. 
And then let's also draw our heart smiling. I'm gonna draw smiling really big. I'm gonna draw a little cheek line and then we could also draw the bottom of the mouth coming down. And then let's color in that shape. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Valentine's dragons and they turned out awesome, except we're not completely done. Still need to color it. Yeah, let's pick out the colors and we'll come back. Like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set, the colors that we picked out are two pinks, six and 17. And then we also picked out 66 blue and 15 red. Yeah. Now you don't have to use the same colors that we're using. You could color your dragons any way you want. You also don't have to use the same markers. You could use a different brand of alcohol-based markers or even something completely different like colored pencils, crayons, or even oil pastels. Let's color our dragons solid and fast forward this part. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. Okay. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Valentine's dragons and they turned out awesome. I love how they looked all colored in and I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, you can pause the video to match our same coloring or you, remember you can color it any way you want. When we colored the cloud, we only colored the bottom little edge for the shadow to make it look more 3D. And we also used CG1, which is a light gray to add a little shadow inside the ears and on the bottom of the horns and also underneath the chin. But you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Valentine's dragons. Yeah, and remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different, but that's okay. Yep. They both turned out awesome. Yes, they did. Most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.